Hey everyone, this is Jove from Jove's Gaming Lounge, and I'm here to show you how I set up PS1 emulation using RetroArch. First thing you're gonna do is go to the website and download RetroArch. You have uh, two choices. You can install it with the installer, or you can have it portable with the download, which is what I did. I have it right here on the desktop. We're just gonna go ahead and extract that. Extract to RetroArch is gonna create its own folder for it using 7-zip. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna open up the folder here. We're gonna go into the systems folder. This is where you're gonna have to place your PS1 BIOS. And the BIOS has to be named like this, SCPH 5500, 01 or 02 for all three regions. And you wanna place them in the system folder. To get the right BIOS files and games, you will just have to do a quick Google search and you should be able to find anything you need in there. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start out with some updates. These are the updates I like to put up in order. So we go to online updater. And I like to update the database first. And then we update assets. Once assets updates is gonna resize the window. Okay. And then from here, I just go ahead and update everything else. All right, so while that last one extracts, we're gonna go ahead and start downloading our core. I'm just gonna scroll all the way down until we find some PlayStation. And there it is. So we also have PC SX rearmed. If you wanna just get up and running, this is a good one. But today we're going to be using Beto PSX HW. PCSX rearmed is, we're also going to use that one as well, but not for this one. Next thing I'd like to do is make sure the uh, inputs are fine here. So we're going to go to the menu options here. If you feel that X or circle or B or A are flipped, you can change them here. Also, you can go to the menu toggle combo pad and this will bring up the in-game menu while you're here. I like to use L3 and R3 as I'm using the Xbox One controller. And then the drivers here, you can change but from now, we'll do that within the in core menu. And here we have Tekken 3 in two different formats. Just to show you that RetroArch can read in different formats. We have the traditional bin Q, and then I have a compressed PBP version of it. And that's the one we're going to be using in today's example here. So we're going to go ahead and load content. It's on my desktop, so we're going to the C drive, users, my name, and we're gonna find desktop. Then we're gonna go into games, oh, double click.
Here we're gonna find it and open it with Beetle PSX HW. Okay, now if you have your uh, controller plugged in, like I just did, it automatically recognizes the controller and you're all set up to go. So I'm gonna just jump into a practice here real quick just to show you exactly the game running. Pick two random characters. So this is the game right here running on your computer. Now, if you want to do nothing else, you could play exactly how you see it. Just maximize the window and you'll have the game up and running. However, P uh, Beetle PSX HW allows us to do a little tricks to make it look better. So first we're going to save a state because we're going to have to restart the game from within RetroArch to apply some of our settings. Now, one thing I like to do is go ahead and just change the color depth to 32. And then we're going to change the renderer to Vulcan. I'm going to close the content, which is the game. And then we're going to go into our history to find it faster and then run it again. From here, we're going to reload our save state so now we have the Vulcan backend rendering the game so here we're gonna take the dithering pattern off you'll notice it in certain games more than others but the one thing you really want to do here is the render resolution the sweet spot for most PS1 games is 4 to 8 You could go 16, but it, I, in my opinion, it doesn't make too much of a difference from eight to 16, unless you have a high DPI monitor and you just want to fill it up with PS1 polygons. So next thing we do, uh, people like texture filtering. So we're just going to go ahead and put up the XBR, uh, anti-aliasing. Some games will show better than others. MDEC YUV filter is a filter for the FMV movies to make them less pixelated and PGXP. We're turning on a few of these options here as those are the ones that slow down the shaky polygons in the PS1. We're turning up the GPU rasterizer overclock. We're skipping the BIOS in the beginning and we're just checking over a few other options here. Now the initial scan line is to crop off the black borders on the top and the bottom of certain games. Not all games will need this little fix, but this game will be able to use this fix so that when you go full screen, you'll have the full screen experience as you'll see later on in the video. So we're just testing it out here, displaying it. So here we'll change it for me, in my opinion, I think eight, eight and nine on the initial and uh, 31 usually does the trick for most full screen resolutions. CD write speed depends on the games. Certain games will not allow you to use the high speed CD speed. So be mindful of the games you turn that up on. You can go back and forth within the resolutions, whichever one makes you feel comfortable. 
You notice no difference between eight and four. Just go back to four, save a little bit of that performance and enjoy the smoothness of the game. Go back, test it out, change a few things here and there. But the settings I used here are the settings I normally use to get the highest fidelity out of the games. I'm gonna go through them all one last time here for you guys. All right, and I'm gonna leave you here with a few examples and a few games of what these settings do. Now mind you, you will have to change the settings according to certain games. Some games will don't have the widescreen, but check it out. I have a few examples here for you. If you guys found this setup helpful, don't forget to give it a like, share it with somebody, subscribe if you want more. Thank you all for watching. Round one, fight! <laughs> Get ready, Bob! Sit! <laughs>